honestly guys yeah temple of doom is a bit underrated like i don't know how i really want to approach this movie but i saw the movie again lately and i, I i've gone through all uh, at least the first three movies just because i'm in the mood and these are good feel movies and why not like there's nothing bad about them like if you're here to hear me bash this isn't the channel for you this i do have an appreciation for the indie movies coming from the same studio that does star wars or essentially their siblings that kind of realm but i passed temple of doom and what i know what i can remember like just hearing like oh temple of doom is a good one but it doesn't live up to the last crusade or raiders of the lost ark or it isn't as good what were they thinking like what a way to do expectations and setting it as a prequel and why is it dark and it's not as familiar as the other ones things like that and you know whether you haven't seen the movie a lot or whether you let a lot of judgment you know influence your opinion it's a lot of factors but me checking the film again and i saw it and i was just like man speaking from honest from the heart that kind of thing it's it was a really good movie it's i had a good time with it and i don't know if i could be like this this now my favorite of the list i just want to talk about it. i was just like having a defense kind of thing or just me saying what i liked about it it's just it's a good time i like how you get the title call how it starts like that feels very comic bookish and having the sing-along and having that like 20 minute what feels like action sequence in the beginning with you know indy and then you would might say short round might not have been needed or or it just kind of shows how he's in this but he's not in the other ones how much of an annoyance lack for a better word he is i like their kind of chemistry it's really fun the closest you'll have to like a father son duo really that really is well earned i thought it was comical it was relieving in a way where it felt earned or natural and seeing them band drop and then what is indy's love interest in this and i get it it was like she's annoying she yells too much she's just uh she's a total snob or something i get that in a sense and i really do kind of agree with that but i like short run in indy's reactions to it it really makes it feel like yeah yeah we know it's annoying we're kind of doing this intentionally kind of thing like if they kind of didn't reflect on it they didn't notice it you know i would say like it's kind of more of a problem but seeing how they kind of noticed that problem i'm like i kind of really enjoy seeing her be so annoying and then seeing how she might still fall for her and but still them them the reactions is just priceless like it's really like even funny for me to like know that that happens and just like seeing bits and pieces of how you know it just how it's assembled like it, it is an indie movie but just the style of it how it was presented just you kind of know what you're gonna expect at least like i said in the first 10 minutes you see in the 20 you're like okay it's a tad bit different you might think like oh you know why weren't there any nazis or anything i kind of like how it was kind of like pressing in that way where you know if he is going everywhere kind of thing he is bound to meet people like this and you know thinking oh this kind of deviated from what i love of indiana jones um i like the struggles like like the themes that they all have kind of stay consistent in all three movies for sure but I, like in the, if you can understand me understand me where he it's this in this one he's in a place where you know yeah he you know there's like you know manipulation there's kind of like that you know all that kind of cult that goes on that maybe not a lot of people can vibe with but i like how it still it took indy and still gave us what we like you know he was you know back against the wall you know if you want to root for someone you got to have them go through adversity and i you know as more fictional and not saying all this trilogy is realistic as it was i still rooted for him like it paid off like how you know he was being manipulated and then he had to like just snap out of everything and then hearing the music come back and he's just kicking ass again and you know at least they kept s staples of what indy is i like the character really was you know a continuous one in this and yeah so i i get why my a lot, of, a lot of people might not feel as comfortable with this one as familiar like i just like how it was different like the tone and just all that atmosphere of like how how the palette was with the red and all that in the caves and whatnot i thought it was a nice kind of like piece of like film to look at like that was really like fun like it's just it's hard to think like i guess you know maybe 
you know age comes with this or something but i thought myself it was a good time like the the villains are nowhere near like all oh, these you know they're not like as memorable villains as you would say kind of speak but still like what they serve their purpose who they are you in this kind of case you want the hero to push back and it, it serves for that and that's what i enjoy because uh, it's just it's all about indie and yeah it's just it, different like i i did notice a bit i was like wow he doesn't really go back to school in this one like to kind of teach a bit and then tell him hey, we need you back for another mission that's why so i was like i thought that stood out like that's a one example i can think of to kind of think maybe some things like that did jar me a bit but then after i was like no but this is still really fun to watch and the the climax of it like being in that one you know the the rope at the where you have to walk through the bridge kind of thing and then realizing like you know how's he gonna get out of this and man the, the lengths that he will go is harrison ford and indiana jones's character really was kind of like fleshed out and always like man this guy he's some like in the other ones like he's still as fun as he is but in this one he's just like man we're gonna kick it up a bit we're going balls to the walls i, I liked how just zany like how zany and twisty that kind of thing was so like yeah like i got enough of it where like yeah some criticisms and still like if you know judging it you know a film you know a lot of things have criticisms they have flaws but still like for like what i see for people saying that's not as fun and all that's not as good kind of thing i'm like i for me i just i see it as like it's kind of underrated i'm like i really did enjoy it. i it just it's a more continuous trilogy than you know a lot of people think like it's it's contained it's uh, stable like some people might say i just see one and three or you know i just see one that's mine or three or you know there's that edgy person maybe they're like maybe two is my thing but no like whether you see it as two one three or just going one two and three i think it's really it makes sense it's at as coherent or cohesive whatever the word is coherent cohesive so you can understand me and yeah it's just it is in the spirit of what he is indiana jones definitely how the spirit of indiana jones is and i had a good time with this movie so yeah it's just, I, these are just kind of some things you know again like if i had to go in depth you know i want to do like a 30 minutes to an hour kind of thing but just in a few minutes just to give some kind of like surface layer with some kind of like la uh, layers to it also why i think of certain things this is my reasonings for the movie so yeah guys let me know if you agree what you think is your favorite indiana jones movie just yeah i i like to hear you know all this and just let me know if you guys agree and as always roll an empire laugh smile repeat